Hi everyone, I am Ms. Macedo. Welcome to our lesson. In today's lesson, we are going to learn about understatements. Are you ready? Let's get started. Understatement. It comes from the word under and statements. Under means of lesser degree, extent, or amount. And statement means something stated, a declaration. So you have understatement. Now, let's take a look at the definition of understatement. Understatement, a form of speech which contains an expression of less strength than what would be expected. For example, example I am sensing some tension between you. So as you can see here in this image, these two people are fighting basically fighting, but then this gentleman comes and tell them, oh, I'm sensing some tension between you. Instead of saying, you are fighting, I can see that you are fighting, this person decides to say, I am sensing some tension between you. So it makes it, makes it seem, seem smaller than it is, not as serious as it is. Other statement, a form of irony in which something is intentionally represented as less than it is. It is often used to create humor, as you can see in this image. When you use understatement, you are presenting something as smaller than it is or less important than it is. Now, let's take a look at a few examples of understatements. It is a little bit warm outside. As you can see in this image, this car is so hot. The boy also is very hot, he's sweating. And you can see here in the weather temperature that is 103 degrees outside. But this person is saying it is a little bit warm outside. So he's saying it is very hot, but the person is using understatements to say it. Another example of understatements. She is not the most intelligent person in the world. So as you can see in this image, the person is taking it, using the camera to take a picture, but is using it in their own way. And Someone, instead of saying that the person is not smart, is just saying that she's not the most intelligent person in the world. Another example of understatement would be this one here. As you can see, this man is a little bit fat. He is heavy. But look at the understatement. He's not the thinnest person in the world. He's a little on the big side. Or I would not say he's thin. So instead of saying that he's fat, the person is using an understatement. Another understatement. Well, mom, there is a slight problem with the car. So as you can see here, there is a big problem with the car. A branch fell on the car. But the person is talking to the mother and is saying that is a slight problem with the car. So this person is making the situa situation seem smaller than actually is. Another example of understatement would be this one. So look at this image. As you can see, there was a flood. So when there is a flood, it means that it rained a lot and it caused a flood. But look at the understatement. Looks like it rained a bit last night. So instead of saying that it rained so much, the person is saying, is using an understatement and is saying, looks like it rained a bit last night. So the person is, make, is making it seem smaller than it is or less important than it is. In our last example, before we do our activity, is this. I think there is a leak. 
So as you can see, this boat is actually sinking, but the person is making it seem smaller than it is by saying, I think that is a leak. Now it is your turn to create an understatement. So make these sentences more interesting by using understatements. She doesn't know how to match her clothes. So what you're going to do, you can create, you know, in order to, you can make it more interesting so you can create a sentence or you can also draw someone that has a tap that doesn't match the bottom. Or grandpa, grandpa is old. So you can make this sentence my, more interesting and you can draw something or you can just fix the sentence. Say it in a way that seems less important and that doesn't show that your grandpa is that old. And our la your last activity today will be this one. You are cre create an understatement by writing a sentence or drawing. So look at this image. This boy is very skinny, but how can you create an understatement? And look at this one, this boy is eating so much pizza. How can you create an understatement? Okay, so today we learned about understatement. An understatement is a form of speech which contains an expression of less strength than what would be expected. Thanks for watching this video.